Hello and welcome to another installment of how to use the resonance trainer in your classes. In this installment, we're going to go ahead and cover beginning brass. For beginning brass, okay, what we suggest you do is do what you always do as far as using the mouthpiece. Okay, once you're able to do that to your satisfaction, then they can go ahead and attach the mouthpiece into the adapter. Okay, like so. They're going to go ahead and cover the first finger. Okay, now if you want to make this easy for them, you can cover up the top three fingers. Whatever they buzz, whatever they blow, they're going to, uh, they're going to achieve instant success, which means they're going to feel good about themselves, better self-esteem uh, when it comes to playing uh, goes a long way. So we want them to feel success, so they'll cover that up. And this is going to be a little bit slightly like if they were to put it on a balloon, but it doesn't have that massive amount of back pressure like a balloon does. So here's the way it goes. And they're going to be very excited about that. Okay, so you say, all right, well, let's move on to the next one. Once they're successful, I usually have our kids do it for 10 seconds to where they can maintain the indicator to the top. They pick up a finger, and now they're at two. Okay, once again, they feel success. Great. So now they're going to go ahead and go to the first finger. Okay. Okay, now at that point, we're also learning, teaching them how to do the siren, okay? And if you can do the siren on here, or you can do it on the mouthpiece, your choice. Okay, and what they're going to do, they're going to do the same thing. They're going to start off with three. Tell my, my students, hey, did you notice the volume got softer when you went to the higher note? That means they're doing the face correctly, but they're not uh, spinning the air faster. We, t we remind them, you need to spin the air faster as whatever your corners do, your abs have to do also, your diaphragm. Okay? They'll move up to the third finger, and it'll look like this. Because... You notice the indicator drop, uh, they're clo either, either closing their teeth off or they're doing their embouchure correctly and they're not spinning the air faster. So this is what it looks like and you'll notice also the volume got softer. Same volume all the way throughout, the indicator stayed up, pegged up at the very top, and so now they know what they need to get done. They're feeling it. Remember, this is training them how to use their mouthpiece correctly, but it's also training them how to do their embouchure. Remember to keep the teeth open. Remember to keep the air spinning fast on every note. And remember to keep it as far as arching the tongue. All right? I hope you've enjoyed this installment.